I'm Victoria McLean and welcome to my channel. I'm sure from my post today, you guys know this now, but I have a little addiction, okay? Um, not just Harry Potter, um, although it does involve Harry Potter themed stuff. So I have a slight addiction with bags. Um, I haven't bought any for quite some time. So the last time I actually bought some bags was when Primark was open and I bought two. And I really shouldn't have, but Primark is so cheap. Now today is all about bags and it is it's showing you to be honest, I have over 80 bags, okay? Being the Guinness World Records title holder, it is, it's quite hard not to have a large collection of something like that, especially when they keep bringing them out. Um, so, I mean, I have bags that are beside me. I will be showing you this one. I have had a beautiful, I'm sure, a beautiful bag in the post. So if you'd like to see what bags I have in my collection, then keep on watching. If you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you, then why not subscribe to my channel? Let's get started. <gasps> now I know I'm a little bit traitorish today because I'm actually in Gryffindor colours, but I cleared out my bedroom yesterday. I know it takes some doing. Um, I had eight bags of clothes that either mostly don't fit me anymore, because let's face it, who hasn't put weight on? Apart from Potter Poppet, who's lost three and a half stone cow since lockdown. Um, who hasn't put on weight during lockdown? I've put on loads of weight because I'm just loving my food being in lockdown. And I'm looking at these waists, picking them up thinking, did I fit in that? What the hell? What's going on? Oh my god, I really need to get back into it. But I, I've already said I'll go back to Slimming World when things are back to normal. Now my Slimming World instructor knows this and she's lovely. Um, so I will go back. I lost half the stone before lockdown, but I've put on that and more and more again over lockdown. It's just Adam, he keeps buying me chocolate. And what, it's rude not to eat it, you know? You know what I mean? It's rude. And I've also figured out how to make pina coladas. <laughs> Oh my God, they are so yummy. And I've had like, I didn't have one last night because I was really busy doing my room. Um, but I've had so many pita coladas, you have no idea. Um, I've really got to stop. And not the alcoholic ones as set as such because they do taste nice without the Malibu in. So I've been having some non-alcoholic pina coladas as well. It's the coconut cream, it's so fat them. Right. So as I said, today is about bags. Now I have over 80 bags in my collection. I think I had almost 70 during the Guinness World Record last February, um, and I have way more than that now. So I'm saying about 80-ish. Um, I've had some lovely bags from places like Primark, EMP. I've had some gorgeous presents sent to me in the post. I've had some lovely presents given to me, um, and I've had some lovely items sent to me for free, so, this video is going to be wicked. <laughs> it's like the bags. The first bag I want to show you is a bag from Danielle and Nicole. I have a couple of bags from Danielle and Nicole, but this one specifically was a gift from my incredible editor, Janice, whom I love so much. She is one of my best friends. Um, and this was a Christmas present and an early birthday present because these are very expensive. Um, and she gave it to me uh, for the Wizarding World's um, gold party last December because I was wearing a blue dress and she thought it would look lovely. So this is the Ravenclaw clutch bag. Now it is so, so, so beautiful. And you have a lovely um, Harry Potter badge there, zip tag there, which is lovely. And then on the handle then, but you have Ravenclaw stitched in there and a raven as well there, which is lovely because it's actually a raven. But isn't that beautiful? It's all sparkly. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is a clutch bag. So the handle obviously detaches. Now, as far as I know, these bags are still very much available today. They are absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to check in it. You know when you look in a bag and you didn't realise there was something in there that you didn't know about? No, it's fine. It was proper empty. But I loved having this for the Wizarding World Gold Party because my dress was this colour, so it was perfect. So Janice, thank you, darling. I still love this bag. Oh, before I continue any further, uh, regarding advanced potions, I don't know what's going on. I've had people message me asking, did I know what was going on? Did I know this was going to happen? I have no idea. 
I have, I'm, I don't work with advanced potions. Um, I love advanced potions and I love their products. Obviously my last video, if you haven't seen it, check out the link above. I love their products, but I don't, I'm not in conjunction with them at all. Um, I'm not an affiliate of theirs, so I don't know. So apparently if you have any questions, email them um, with your customer reference them if you've had an order or message them on Instagram and I apparently some of one of them members of their team will get back to you as soon as they can so I know as much as you guys do now Primark is amazing I mean I know that they're now opening back up but they have done an incredible array of bags over a period of years and I love this one I've never I don't think I've ever used it or have I used it for for Christmas I may have used it for Christmas I was going to use it for the Wizarding World Gold Party and then of course Janice messaged me saying she bought me that bag so it was like oh my god! Um, so this is another clutch bag and this is from Primark. This is one of the last ones they did and it's probably, you can probably still find it in some, in some there. Oh my god I'm so fun look. Um, and you could probably find it in some shops. So Primark have obviously done an incredible array of bags. Now this one is absolutely stunning. This one was released last Christmas. Um, and of course you've got a Deathly Hallows symbol. By the way, all of Primark's merchandise is officially licensed. Um, the stuff is amazing and I love the fact that it's so cheap. I bet, however, they're regretting not having an online shop during this lockdown, don't you think? Because they've only been in stores. And I just think they would have been absolutely fine and probably done even better if they had an online shop. So maybe after this lockdown we'll see something like that happening. We hope that way everybody can get a piece of Primark. This bag is stunning and I absolutely love the Deathly Hallows symbol just there as well. It's so spacious inside as well for the fact that it's a clutch bag. It's really good and you have the all important, you can just about see the white there, the label there that says Harry Potter because it is an officially licensed item. Now it is so, so, so beautiful. The only thing I don't like about this bag is the handle is not detachable. I would have liked it if it had a bit you can always tuck it in the bag but then you lose half your space so that's the only thing I didn't like about the bag is the fact that you can't take the handle off so now we move on to one of my most recent purchases and a bag that I use for quite some time and it is an actual handbag this is a lovely uh, Harry Potter trunk from Platform 9 and 3 Quarters Shop in King's Cross. You can buy these online. Um, I think they were about £35, £40. They're not cheap. However, you can have them personalised. Um, and then of course you do have the bigger versions you can just about see the end there again that has been personalized for me as well i love that i bought that when me and harry went to king's cross for the opening well, not for the opening for the it's when i went as Lynn love good it was the book celebration night the book night and um i won the cosplay for luna lovegood so it's the only other time I think I've ever taken part in a cosplay competition and I won. I was so proud because there was some brilliant costumes there. But this bag is so pretty. You have the little catches here and then inside is it's just all wood. So it's not very it's not very practical, I think. However, I used it. I absolutely loved it. Now you can have this as an actual clutch bag like this because the handles are removable, which is great. Or if you have your hands full, you have a handle that you can adjust as well. So I really, really, really do love this. I wouldn't use it too much. I used it for, for university. Um, I did use it for a couple of months and loads of people commented on it. They absolutely loved it. They wanted to know where I got it from. So that was really lovely because obviously you love it when other people recognise your items uh, because it means that they're a fan as well. So it's nice and it's always a lovely talking point. I don't think I'd use it too much because I think it is going to get damaged quite easily. It's quite a sturdy handle, mind. The only thing about this one is the handle isn't very brilliant. It does come loose, so you have to push the pins back in. And I just want to say as well that my latest pin badge uh, was re revealed yesterday on my Harry Potter UK page. Now this is the new pin badge. I absolutely love this character. She's somebody that you love to to hate and um, it's the fact that the actress Romelda Staunton is just so 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 incredibly talented to have played such an amazing character she's so she's horrible and she's just 
vile and I think she's worse than Voldemort but there's something about her I actually really like I think it's the fact that she's very kind of charismatic and uh, doesn't care about anybody she's so in love with the minister it's just so funny and the way she's like <laughs> you know it's really funny so I do really really like that side of her but I hate the torturing so I don't like that but this pin badge I think I couldn't put the name in there or anything but this pin badge when you see it you know who I'm talking about so that's why I chose this design um, and I drew it all myself so this will be available to my patrons in the middle of July so in the middle of this month and then to the general public it will be available at the end of July so there will be 200 of these ba of these badges priced at £12 each and then obviously that that's not including shipping obviously because I'm going to be putting a lot of effort into my postage and packaging for you guys majority of my pins have now been received for the last batch um, I'm already in I'm already designing my next pin badge which will be the uh, beginning of September as well so it's a really exciting time for me at the moment so I'm really I can't wait for you guys to start receiving this pin now speaking of uh pink things and um, this is the next bag I wanted to show you however this person is incredibly lovely and we all love her this is a Luna Lovegood uh, officially licensed inspired bag from EMP now I love this you get a little wallet of the quibbler there as well and you've got you've got the glasses um, on the front and of course the pink the pink is so vibrant and beautiful now this actually comes with a matching purse which I have as well uh, but it's in the other room so and it's it's full of things that you don't really need to see I love the inside of this as well and of course you get a pink handle to use for your bag so you can either have it as hand as as a hand one as a clutch uh, or a uh a normal handled bag now of course as I said this is officially licensed you have the Harry Potter label inside there but look at the detail of that isn't that absolutely gorgeous our Luna who we love so much you're just the same as I am she's such a beautiful beautiful character and a beautiful beautiful spirit as well so it's so lovely this bag was used so much when I had it it's now retired because it's starting to wear a little bit but again, I used it loads. Um, it was a properly used bag, this one. I loved this. I went from this to my trunk bag, which you've just seen. And now I have a beautiful Ravenclaw one um, that was from America, from her universe. So this one is one of my favorites. I don't want to run it into the ground. So for me personally, it gets retired and then it gets put away somewhere safe. Okay, so going back to Primark, whom we love loads. And I have quite a few Primark bags. A lot of them look like satchels. They're really lovely, and a couple of them have been used by Harry as lunch bags. This one was very recently released. It's the property of Hogwarts one. Now, they did do bags similar to this that were house themed. So you had Gryffindor and Slytherin ones released, but I never saw any Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff ones, which were really sad because they were gorgeous. You had the ties going down the front there now I managed to pick one up from one of my editors uh, Farron um, and I sent that to her because she really wanted one but they never ever released a Ravenclaw one so I was really sad about that and if they did it wasn't very well known so this is a property of Hogwarts bag with obviously platform nine and three quarters Hogwarts Express there this is a roach bag so it has a handle again it's not detachable so that's the problem um, this bag was priced at £10, it's still got its label and it's not very spacious inside. It would be more for kind of little things, you know, so if you were going somewhere you didn't need to take much with you, um, this bag would be fine for like your phone and maybe a little bit of a makeup powder or something and maybe a couple of tissues, but it wouldn't have been suitable for anything bigger than that, it's only small. But that's quite a pretty, pretty bag, that one. Now my next bag is matching my outfit <laughs> but it's from EMP this one came out ages ago I'm not even sure you can get it anymore it is a howler bag it's the first howler bag you could get hold of I know Danielle and Nicole did a, a howler bag later on but this one this has been all tucked away as you can see it's all it's all lovely and wonderful it's covered in little black bits because I washed it recently um because it was a little bit kind of you know dirty because I really really use this a lot um I, but I stopped using it now I guess as I said it's retired but it's so 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 lovely this bag I love the detailing on the front and of course you've got the Weasley wax seal there but as you open it then you have the howler letter inside there 
Isn't that brilliant with the tongue? I love it. This bag and the teeth. This bag has been such an attractive bag and it's been so sought after by so many people. Um, when I first had it, the amount of people that asked me about it was unbelievable. Uh, it's very spacious. I used this for uni when I first started but I did kind of obviously stop using after a while. Again, it's officially licensed, hugely spacious inside. So you could even get like a, a, a little kind of air, ma, na, oh. <laughs> you could even get like a MacBook Air or something in here. It's really, really nice size and it's quite secure. So obviously you can do these up, which considering how much I've used this bag, this bag is immaculate. It has been so, so, so used so, so, so much. And of course you've got the little pocket this pocket isn't brilliant mind because somebody could easily like pull the front down and whatever was in there could take it out so i tried not to put anything in there other than maybe lip balm um or tissues that's all as you get older you need tissues all the time and everywhere especially for your nose you know me my nose runs all the time so it is a really lovely ba uh, bag and it's comfortable enough to wear on your back as well properly and i did as i said i wore this so often I use this bag all the time I loved it I really really do miss this bag I might bring it out when I go back to university <laughs> now as I said I have over 80 bags in my collection I couldn't tell you all the ones I have but I have got some amazing ones but they're all tucked away upstairs in vacuum bags so they're safe they're secure and they're away from damp sunlight obviously most important and they are completely airtight so I know that they're being kept safe one of my favorite bags that I've never ever used is this one this is another Daniela Nicole bag now I only have two because they are very expensive this one is my favorite it is the monster book of monster book and it is just so beautiful it's so soft and you've got the gold lining as well and then you have obviously the all important Daniela Nicole written down there. Now, and of course on the zip as well. Now you can put the handle on it. It's a roach handle and it is detachable. So that's important. But inside then you have beautiful, beautiful lining on there. I'm not sure if you can see it in this light just about there I think um, but obviously you have the all important label in there saying it, it is an official item and then obviously the label there as well that says an official item now I do love Danielle and Nicole bags but they are so expensive you've got I just love the markings on this bag and it's so soft but it does molt and it's molting now everywhere <laughs> But I don't, I'm too scared to use it, I think, because if I went out in the rain or something, the fur could get damaged by the rain. And it is something that I think if you did keep using it, it wouldn't last forever. Now I keep trying to find an excuse to use it. Obviously at the moment with lockdown, we can't, we don't have the time, we don't have the, the luxury of going out at the moment. We're still very much in lockdown in Wales. Um, but the actual bag will one day be used with an item of mine, with a costume of mine, with an outfit of mine. I will find a way and I will find a way to use it because I really really like it and I want to use it okay so here we go to the item I have had in the post from Diamonte me all the links will be down below for you so you will not miss out now uh, before I get started though this item has been custom made for me they do not do Harry Potter bags as a rule um, due to copyright obviously but their creations are incredible seriously so I have no idea I've got a rough idea what the bag is I know it's a clutch bag but I don't know what the actual design is. So I've seen her work online and it is absolutely beautiful. I'm trying to get the camera to focus on this. Right, let's have a look. Happy post. I love the spark, look at the sparkly, sparkly, sparkly. I don't think you can see it in that light. Sparkly, sparkly. Ah, loads and loads of wrapping. <gasps> I can see it through the bag. Oh my God. OMG, Kaylee, that is absolutely stunning. Oh my life, look at that. Oh my God, that is absolutely beautiful. Kaylee, that is a fantastic job. 
Look at that. Ravenclaw inside, a Ravenclaw on the side. Now I can feel something inside, so I assume it might be the, the handle, the, the strap. Oh my God, Kaylee, this bag is to die for. I, I was not, what was that? I was not expecting this. Oh my God, Kaylee, this is amazing. Look at that. Now Kaylee, as I said, has done this as a custom made piece just for me. This bag was received for free from Diamante Me. So thank you so much. Look at that. Now I think, because I know Kaylee has a YouTube channel. Do you know what would be amazing, Kaylee? Right, this is advice from another YouTuber. I think you would do so well if you showed videos on how you did things like this. So you're not selling them, so you know, you'll be fine. But how you actually did something like this, because I'd love to see how you did it. And if you take a look at Diamante Me, which the link will be down below, if you take a look at their Etsy shop, the shoes that she does, oh my god, she's done shoes for Flourish and Bloss as well in the past. This is so beautiful, Kaylee. You really need to start doing some DIY videos on how you do your specific items on your Etsy shop and things like this, because I think that would do really, really well as a rule. So definitely take my advice on that, my love, because I know that especially my viewers, my followers, my subscribers love DIY videos. And this is just spectacular. I can't get over this bag. You have done such a brilliant, brilliant job. It is so beautiful. I'm gonna to be too scared to use it. I'm gonna to have to use it, I've gotta use it, it's gotta be done, I don't care, I'm doing it. But I just, I'm so scared to use it. I love what you've done, sweetheart. This is so, so, so beautiful. Well done, well done. So what was your favourite bag that I showed you? If I showed you my entire collection, this video would be hours long. One day maybe I'll do like a run through of all my bags because I have so many. I have loads of shoes as well. I'm not a big shoe person. Most of mine are things like high tops and trainers. Um, I have a couple of pairs of high heels, but not many. I'm not really a high heel person. I used to be, but I'm not so much now, I'm getting older. But I really do love my bags. That's my number one thing. So which one was your favourite? Out of all of those at the moment, the one that I've received from Diamante Me is my favourite. That is stunning. That's gonna be hung up in my room because I've got a couple of my bags hung up in my room and they look so lovely. would like me to bring Hogwarts to you then why not subscribe to my channel if you've liked this video then make sure you hit the like button and so you don't miss any more of my videos hit the notification bell as well until next time take care I love you all I'll speak to you very soon Bye-bye. make sure that you subscribe to my channel press the like button the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos until next time take care i love you all i'll speak to you very soon